Hi there students. This video is going to be a review of the conditionals. The zero conditional, the first, the second and the third. Okay, zero conditional. If plus present, then present. If I study, I pass my exams. If I am late for work, my boss is angry. Okay, so these are situations that are always true. If it rains and I don't have an umbrella, I get wet. Okay, this is something that is always true. Um, we can also do it in the past. If I arrived late for work in the past, my boss was angry. A past situation. Okay, the past simple plus past simple. There are other tenses you can use as well. So, let's see, first conditional, yeah, the first conditional. If I study, I will pass my exam tomorrow. I have specific exams in mind. I'm not talking generally now. I have a specific case in mind. If you go out now, it's raining, you will get wet. Okay, you will get wet, it's raining. Um, if I arrive late today, my boss will be angry. Okay, so this is uh, a situation in the f in the present and future. Okay, now how about the second conditional? Yeah, the second conditional. If I studied, I would pass my exams. If plus imperfect subjunctive, then conditional. If I studied. It's the same form as the past simple, but it's a subjunctive, okay? I don't study, yeah? Um, if I studied, but I don't study, I would pass my exams. I'm not going to pass my exams because I don't study. So it's a hypothetical, unreal situation in the present, yeah? If I studied, I don't study, I would pass my exams. If it rained and I took an umbrella, I would get r wet. But maybe I live somewhere where it never rains, in the middle of the Sahara, perhaps. Okay? If I arrived late, my boss would get angry. But I never arrive late, so he never gets angry. Now, what about the third conditional? If I had studied, I would have passed my exams. Okay. I didn't study, and I didn't pass my exams. If I had studied, past perfect subjunctive, then I would have passed, passed, would have passed, conditional perfect, my exams. Okay, this is talking about an unreal past. You're imagining the past in a different way, that it's not the past that really happened. So it's hypothetical, and we are imagining it. Okay, if it had, <coughs> sorry, if it had rained yesterday and I hadn't had an umbrella, I did have an umbrella, but it didn't rain. If I, it had rained yesterday and I hadn't had an umbrella, I would have got wet. If I had arrived yet late yesterday, my boss would have got angry. Okay, so that's a, con a review of your conditionals. Zero conditional, present plus present some type of present, you could use present perfect, or past plus past. Then your first conditional, if plus present then future, if plus present perfect. If you have enjoyed this video, I know you will give this video a rating. Hmm, that's a good phrase. Um, the second conditional for unreal presents and futures. Yeah. If I were rich, I would give you all 20 euros, okay? But I'm not rich, so I'm not going to. And the third conditional, for unreal hypothetical past situations, imagining different pasts, okay? So if you had known about my videos before, you would have started to study with me earlier, okay? So let's see. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. 
So if you enjoyed or if you have enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Think about the conditionals in that. Some of those, um, some conditionals can be mixed. We can mix zero, first, second, and third conditionals. For more information about that, see my other videos on mixed conditionals. Um, but anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, give it a rating. Um, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.